versus four-way Sirlinka sets. Uh, biggest question is how do you choose between the two of them and when would they be appropriate? Uh, let's start by saying that if you look from the top down over the trusses for the roof, most of them are 24 inches on center. It's 24 inches. And then in between, usually that is 22 and 7 16 inches. Or you can call it 22 and a half approximately. So that being said, most of the Silinka sets, for example, from Mitsubishi that go up to about 18K are going to be that dimension, 22 and a half. So they will fit in here perfectly. The reason this might not fit in certain situations is if you have, I believe it's called the gusset that goes up against the joists to kind of sister them together, then obviously your dimension here is going to be smaller and this unit will not fit. Um, so ideally, this is what you would choose. If this doesn't fit, you may be forced to use a one-way ceiling cassette. So now that we have talked about this, let's talk about some of the challenges that may come with that. So let's just say we have a house here. We're going to make a very simple one like this, like a square. We have a living room area here, kitchen area here. Let's just say there are two bedrooms here. Okay, and let's just say the trusses run like this, up and down. And they usually go over to the eave and they go all the way across like this. That's how the trusses go. And so here in this living room area, ideally you want to point it a long way if possible, or in this case you can point it down and also down the hallway. So here you could either do, if this is the only place you can put one, you would use a one-way ceiling cassette that points here in the room and also down the hallway. But if you can fit, let's just say, a four-way unit somewhere here, then it will blow this way, this way, this way, and this way. So this would be a good location for a four-way ceiling cassette. Um, at the same time, in a room like this, for example, um, let's just say that the trusses keep going like this. You may have to put one, let's just say, over here. And it's going to blow into the room like this. If you can fit a regular one like a square one somewhere more like center you can do that you can even block off some of those vents here and it will only go in, in three directions um, so you can block up to I think one of these vents coming out of the four-way ceiling cassettes so I think that the biggest two things that you have to keep in mind as factors are the spacing number one between the tris between the trusses you may be forced to use a one-way but then when you use a one-way the trusses have to line up the right way to, for that to make sense and another example would be sometimes you'll have a room that's sort of long and then there is a bathroom off of it and then there is a closet off of it and some master suites look like that and let's just say the trusses go like this because the house is way bigger so your trusses are going across like this and you'd have to put that one way right here to blow into the room like this this is a short distance let's just say it's 12 feet that's not a good application. If that's the only way, you might want to do it. But then if the bed goes like right here and that's the only place to put it, it's just not a good way to do it. So look at the dimensions between the trusses. Make sure that your airflow will be longitudinally through the room if possible. And um, if you use a four-way cassette, try to put it as centered as possible in the space to benefit from the four directions of the airflow. So those are the biggest things to keep in mind is truss spacing. The other thing is, if you are in a home where you have two floors, so I'm going to do like the side view of a house, and let's just say that there is a two story, you're going to have joists across there. You can open up that space and put units in the joists, but the joist spacing is usually 16 inches on center. And the one-way cassette, I believe is around 14 and a half, somewhere in there that's the width by about 43 i think maybe wrong but that's approximately what it is and this is 22 and 7 16 by 22 and 7 16 so if you're talking about joists let's say on the first floor and there's livable space above here you may only be able to do one-way ceiling cassettes that don't require any restructuring engineering of the trusses and then upstairs, you can do the four-way ceiling cassettes because 
your trusses are 22 and a half most times. Sometimes they're more condensed, um, but usually that's typical. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the easiest way to ex uh, explain the choice between one-way and four-way cylinder sets. If you have any more questions other than this, just type it up in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer it for you.